In this live stream, we're going to be playing Hong Kong Mahjong at Mahjong Time. I think Mahjong Time is the best place to play online. If you haven't tried it yet, let me know because I may have a 30-day VIP code for you. Sometimes I may run out, so depending on when you see this video, I may or may not have those codes. Regardless, give it a try. It really is a great form of entertainment. It works your brain and keeps you active. And it's not that expensive either. I think it's reasonably priced. We just kind of work it into our entertainment budget. If you're watching the repost, thank you so much for coming by. I hope you enjoy the session. Welcome to the live stream. We're going to be playing Hong Kong Mahjong at Mahjong time. If you haven't tried it yet, let me know because I have some 30 day VIP codes right now. I have probably a half a dozen or more. So hit me up for that code and I'll send it to you. So you can come and try it out for 30 days. I think it's the best place to play online. There are five ways to play. So lots of options. I'm hoping to get in some good games tonight. Wish me luck. Let's see who's joined us in the room. We have Green Health, so we're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and join Mahjong time. Got it bookmarked. Easy access. If you ever get this little button that says get Adobe Flash, just click that and it'll launch it. Kind of took me by surprise once. So it's rendering. We're going to enter the lobby. Welcome to the live stream. Hi, Carol. Hi, Graham. We're going to be playing Hong Kong Mahjong tonight. I think I can only play for about an hour, though. I'm running a little behind schedule today because I'm re-recording all the American Mahjong lesson videos. I'm a little behind schedule, so I want to get caught up. Okay, so let's see here. We have fun games, Hong Kong Mahjong, big population. I'm sure we can find some tables here. Let's go ahead and join. Let's see. I think they're all pretty much the same. Oh, some are really low, 250 ante. Let's go ahead and do one of those. It looks like most people do that. So Carol, you're from Chicago. Welcome. Is this the first time you've come to a live stream? Say hi in chat. If you don't see the chat, it'll be in the lower right corner. It'll say live chat or top chat. If you click live chat, I think that is the best one for live streaming chat. So you'll be able to participate in the conversation. It looks like they might have done a release. Anytime they do a new release, that's, that little uh, ribbon comes up. So we'll see here if we can get some players and play a little bit of Hong Kong Mahjong. I'm planning to go till 8 o'clock tonight. Oh, there's Graham. All right. Graham is coming to the table. Welcome to the table. Oh, here we go. We're getting started. So Hong Kong Mahjong, four sets and a pair. Pretty simple concept. The sets can be three in a sequence or three of a kind. We, we're going to pung three of a kind right there. Let's get rid of the offsuit tiles. We've got lots of bams. There's chow potential, which chows are three in a sequence. Pungs are three of a kind. So we have a pair of twos that we could use maybe. We could also use the two three in a chow. So you have a lot of flexibility with Hong Kong Mahjong. 
Oh, this is your second time. Okay, Carol. Well, welcome to the live stream. You're just learning how to play Hong Kong Mahjong. Oh, it looks like we lost connection here for a player. If you lose connection, the computer will act for you till you gain connectivity again. So four sets in a pair. That's what we're looking for. I'm hoping for a half flesh. That would be one suit with honors. Honors are winds and dragons. So we want bands. And since the player to my left has a chow of dots, I'm hoping we can get bams out of them. Okay, let's get rid of the offsuit tiles. We're looking for bams. Hi, Shirley. Welcome to the live stream. Three dot. We don't need it. Now, we are in West Seat. We have a one and a four flower, so those are not going to count for us. Flowers are bonus points, and they're just kind of random and pure luck. In this case, we didn't get lucky. But a half flush is a nice hand if we can get there. We need to pair up these honors, though. Single honors, winds and dragons, do nothing for you with one exception. And that, that is a really rare hand. Okay, chow. We have chows next to us there. They're mixing it up with chows. All chow hand is only one fawn, so it's going to be a low score. They have a three flower, so right now it looks like they may only have one fawn. A fawn is like a point, or is a point, I guess. We need to pair up these honors pretty quick. Oh, we keep getting dots. Say hi in uh, the chat so that we can get to know each other. Oh, we can chow. There's a three in a sequence right there. Let's get rid of the nine dot. We need to pair up these wins. Now there are two green dragons out, so probably we should get rid of that. There are two east winds out and two north out. Two white dragons, there's two of everything. So any one of these could be our pair. So I'll just hold on to them and see if we could pair up. Otherwise, I need to draw in more bams. There's a pung. Let's get rid of the dragons. We'll get rid of the white dragon. There are no south south, so let's keep the south. Maybe we can pair that up. Even though that's not our seat, we can still use it to get to a half flush. Half flush is any combination of winds and dragons with one suit. Okay, so we have a winner. It looks like they have all chow. All three, no, they have a mixture. They have no score. That's a chicken hand. Zero points. If you just win with any combination of four sets and a pair, that's called a chicken hand. And just by virtue of winning, you get four points. So they won by really mixing it up with a chicken hand. The bane of my existence. Okay, let's go ahead and play Hong Kong. Oh, wait a minute. We'll go back to Baghdad. Is that where we were? Uh oh. Okay, here we go. Maybe we should play a chicken hand. We could do all chow, all three in a sequence here. Two, three, three, five, one, three, five, six, three, four, five. There's a chow right there. Or five, seven. Let's just go for all chow. Mixed suits. One fawn, but any winner gets paid. Any win is a good win, as the saying goes. We're going to take any chow tile. You can either draw them or take the discard from the player on your left. You cannot take a chow tile as a discard from any player. It can only be from the player on your left. There's a seven bam. Let's get rid of the white dragon. 
We want number tiles because they're going to be more most flexible. We'll get rid of the east. We're really set up for chows here. There's a two. So we need to pick something. Let's get rid of the seven dot. So we have a three, four, five right here. We still need a pair. And we have chow potential here, two, three. That is called a side weight where we're waiting for any one of two tiles, the one or the four. Those are the best kinds of weights to complete that block. Okay, now we have a pair with the three. Let's go ahead and discard the seven bam. Uh-oh. Oh, I wasn't fast enough. If you're not fast enough, the game will discard whatever just came in. That's okay. We can, we can recover. I'm not worried. We have two chows at the moment. There's a pair. Let's get rid of the five bam. So now we have a pair with the seven, a one, two, three chow. Here's a five, six side weight, a two, three side weight, and we have a three, four, five right there. So we really need one more tile to get ready to win on a concealed all chow hand. That would be too fun. And we have our own flower, that's three, that's three fun. Oh, somebody won already. Let's see if they got a chicken hand, they have all chow. All chow, self-drawn, season of, of wind. They have their own flower. Okay, let's see if, okay, now wait a minute. Did I just join a marathon here? Yes, so we got to stick around now. We're going to keep going. Hi, Mary. Welcome to the live stream. We're playing Hong Kong Mahjong. At Mahjong time, we'll be playing until 8 tonight. Okay, now for this one, we have primarily two suits with chow potential. I think we should go ahead and focus on all chow, all three in a sequence. We have a one, two, three, potential six, seven chow, side weight. We need either the five bam or the eight bam there. The eight is isolated. Then we have a one, three and a three, four, five. We already have a chow there, or we can split it up and do a three, four or five, seven. We've got two single honors that we could probably get rid of because number tiles are more flexible. Let's get rid of the West. We have a pair. You always got to have a pair. So we have a one, two, three and a three, four, five. We have two chows down at the moment. We're going to get rid of the green dragon next, probably. Okay, we're not going to take that. We already have a chow with our three bam. Let's get rid of the green dragon. There's a nine. So now the eight is no longer isolated. We have a pair of sevens, a three, four, five. The one dot maybe can go next. We'll chow. Get rid of the one. We're ready to win on a seven crack with an all chow hand. All three in a sequence, always got to have a pair in there. Yes, this is a very fast game. Hi, Peggy. We're ready to win on a seven crack. That is not Mahjong. The game automatically displays the word Mahjong there, but it may or may not qualify like that East. That was not my Mahjong tile, so be careful with that. We need a seven crack. That is not Mahjong. We're going to discard it because we want all chow. All chow is one fawn. We're in the south seat. The three flower is not our flower, so we won't get score for that. We need a seven. Nope, that's not it. Huh. 
so the player across from me is probably playing just a dragon pung as their only scoring element. Just the winner gets paid. That is not a mahjong. We're waiting specifically for a seven crack. And that's called an edge weight, so it's going to be hard. One tile, one specific tile. That's not what we need. We need a seven crack. Hi, David. Welcome to the live stream. We're playing Hong Kong Mahjong. I know you've been waiting. We're going to be playing until eight tonight. I had to cut the, the timing a little bit. That is not Mahjong. That just makes me feel uneasy when I see that Mahjong there. And I want to click it. But don't click it unless it's your winning tile. We need a seven crack. That's not Mahjong. There are none out right now. That's not it either. We keep getting cracks though. That's kind of the right suit. Uh-oh. I hope they don't have my seven cracks. They've got two sets there in cracks. They could be in all cracks. That's not it. Okay, they're discarding. Okay, white dragon, that's... Oh, shoot. Okay, we have... Dragon Pung, self pick, flower. That's their score. Over here, they're playing. It looks like they were trying for a chicken hand because they have a mixture of a Pung. They could have been doing all chow, maybe. All right, here we go. We got to get out of the hole. We need a half flush or a big hand, a special hand to get out of this hole. All right, I think we can uh, do maybe all Pung. Let's get rid of the two crack and try for either all pung or half flesh. We've got three pair right now, so we can pung. You can take a discard to create a pung from any player at the table. The chows, you can, you can only take a discard from the player on your left to complete a block. But for pungs, you can pung from anybody. So let's see what happens. I'd rather do a half flesh because we need the score to get out of this negative hole. I guess a hole in and of itself is negative, negative space because it's a hole. Okay, let's get rid of the one bam. Oh yeah, Mary, I've done that before too. I don't like it. I don't like that mahjong word unless I'm actually qualified for it. Oh, seven crack. We don't want that. We need dots. Dots go down. I'm going to take them. Chow. We have two potential pungs or two potential chows. There's a north. Let's keep the north. Even though there's one out, we might be able to switch to half flush if we can pair it up. So we're hoping for either all pungs or half flush here. Primarily because we need to make up for this negative 32 points. There's a pair. Let's get rid of the three or the five crack. We have four pair now. So let's play all pung, which is three fawn. All pung is a fine hand. If you have mixed suits, it'd be higher if you're in one suit by quite a bit. Three fawn. So let's see what happens. We'll get rid of that nine, but we're, we're set to Pung. We just need to wait for the discards or draw them ourselves. There's an East. There are none out. We're in the East seat, so that could bring score. I'm going to keep it. Now, there are two white dragons out. That might be the next discard if we don't pair up. Because we could use it for a pair. Okay, let's get rid of the white. We have a three now. I'm thinking we should sacrifice the seven bam and go for half flesh 
Because we can chow and pung, that would be three fawn. Either way, all pung in mixed suits versus a half flesh, both of those are three fawn. So let's see what happens. Whatever comes first. We're looking for tiles to complete our pungs. Oh, I needed that. We need dots. Shoot. Not drawing. We're not drawing. And we're not getting discards either that fit. Okay, there's the second East Wind. We need a dot. Oh. Got skipped. Oh, there we go. Pung. Okay, let's get rid of the East. Because we can still play all Pung. There are no seven BAMs out right now. I'm still hoping to do a half flesh. There's a green dragon. Let's get rid of it. Green dragon's out already. We need dots. Uh-oh. Someone's going to take it. No. Oh, Kong. Oh, you know what? Let's let's get rid of the 7 bam because we can use that as a chow. 4 5 6. Okay. We're getting there. We're building. We have ch a chow with the 4 5 Oh, shoot. Somebody got there first. Self draw flower. That's it. Okay, we're tied for last place right now. We need a big hand. We're negative 40 right now. Okay, that was a quick decision. We have three single honors. I think we should try for all chow. All three in a sequence. We have a four, five, six, three, four, five, seven. We're set up for chows. We have a one isolated tile. Let's chow. chow. Let's keep the north. Maybe we'll draw that in Pung. That would be our seat wind. Oh, thank you, David. I tend to get a little discouraged playing Cantonese Mahjong. Because we have players who play chicken hands. We don't need that. We have a chow already. So let's throw the south. Okay, we need, we can use the nine bam as our pair. We need to chow the three, four. We need another chow in here. Okay, that might help. Well, that's a chow now. So we have a two, three, four in cracks, a five, six, seven in dots. We need to make the seven crack a chow. We need like a six or an eight or a nine, maybe a five. Right quick. But we're one away, one discard. Let's get rid of the north. That one crack. I don't know if that's going to be helpful unless we draw a three or a five either way. There's an eight crack out. We don't need a two dot. So we have a one, two, three, four, and a seven. We need something in there to fill in or expand. We're not taking that. That's our pair. Don't feel tempted to pung. Then that would become a chicken hand. I'd rather get score. Two, three, four, one, two, three, two. Let's chow. 
one, two, three. So now I probably might have been able to do that a little better because now we have an inside weight, a closed weight, which is weak. But I felt pressured, so I took it. We need a three crack to win. Three crack to win. And there is one out in my exposure. Three crack. That is not Mahjong. Don't click it. Okay. Uh, no. Goodness. I agree, Graham. I don't like the zero point tables and I forgot to check that. It's very discouraging when you're working on a big hand and someone slaps out a chicken hand. That is not Mahjong. That just really makes my stomach turn when I see that big Mahjong and I don't qualify. Seriously, my stomach literally turns when I see that. I feel that anxiety inside me. Yeah, I'm wound tight. Sorry. If you watch my videos, you'll get to know that about me. I'm kind of high strung. Kind of like a Yorkie. <gasps> That's it. We got it. It's going to be small score, though. One fawn. Mm. Okay. We need a big hand. We still got to get out. At least we're in third place now. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Okay. All chow. <laughs> we need a big one. I want to play 13 orphans. 13 orphans is a very rare hand. My favorite. Let's see if we can force it. Not right now, though. Oh, look at what we got, though. A pair of dragons. Okay, we're going to pung those dragons for sure. Let's play Let's play a half flush dragon pung. That would be four fawn. That could get us out of a hole. Just go big or go home. Be aggressive. Sometimes you got to be aggressive. Okay, we're going to get rid of the six dot. So we can pung the seven, chow the four, five, pung the, the green. We'll see. I may keep the three, four, because we could do just any other set or block and, and drag and pung only. But I need, I want to get some score to get out of this hole. So I want to play a big hand. I'm thinking half flesh. We got to push though. We need cracks. Four yeah, that's not helpful. Nine now that did create a chow, two, three, four. We'll see if we get that dragon pung, maybe we should take it. We'll see. One Let's get rid of the six bam. Bamboo. There's one south out and no wests are out. We'll see. We're in the west seat. You always want to consider what seat you're in because you could get score for your seat wind if you get a pung. Three of a kind of your seat wind will bring you score. Seven We're going to pung. pung. Okay, let's get rid of the bams. We're going to push a half flush here. If that makes you cringe, write pound cringe right now in chat. We need cracks, not bams. We need cracks. I would love to draw a red dragon. That would be sweet or a west because those could both bring a score. You get a fawn for any pung of dragons. <laughs> Pound cringe. Oh, Carol, you're very cute. Okay, we need we need a red dragon or a west. Or a crack. Oh, we got a crack. There we go. Nice. Okay, now we have two potential chows and a potential pung. We're getting there. We're getting there. But, man, people play fast here. No, we don't want a five dot. Okay, we're waiting on some chow tiles. You can only take a chow tile from the player on your left. So we're kind of in a waiting game. 
We gotta wait to be fed. Oh, there's a five crack. Nice. Four, five, six. We got a chow. We still have single tiles here, so it's kind of a long shot right now, and we're, we're heading into the fourth wall, which is kind of surprising because normally someone will slap out a mahjong right now. We need a three crack or a seven crack, maybe. Three crack would be great, or a green dragon, of course. Uh-oh, someone's going to take it. Someone's thinking about it. There it is. Okay, this one, two, three, that's still viable. There are no three cracks out. We need a three crack or a green dragon. Oh, there's a west. Okay, that is our seat wind. We're going to discard. Okay, we're set now. We need a west, a green, or a three crack to get ready to win. I'm a little nervous about this red dragon now. There are none out. We're going to discard. We're ready to win on a, on a three crack. No. No. It's not letting me click pass. There we go. Okay, we need a three crack to win. There are two one cracks out. Seven We're going to pass. Okay, there's a four. Let's discard. We're waiting on a three crack. We're ready to win on a three crack. Nope. Don't need what east. That was a good safe discard. Okay, eight crack. All cracks. That's called Gao Jiang. Nine showing. You want to be really careful discarding any crack at this point. If they're, oh, okay, they're playing a half flesh. I'm hoping they'll discard a three crack. Five crack. Oh, that was really risky, but we're ready to win. I played a win. Oh, the one crack. They just threw a one crack. That was going to be an optional switch if a west went down. There are three out now. There it is. Mahjong. Half flesh. Half flesh dragon pung. And we have our own flower. This is going to be five fawn. Three, four, five, five fawn. We're out of the hole. Woohoo! That feels nice. Okay, out of the hole. Second place. Okay, let's see if we can find another table. <laughs> Okay, now let's see if we can find an eight point table. Eight minimum points. Eight, right there. Oh, that's two rounds. Yeah, we can't do that. Oh, there are no more. We need to pick a, a uh, one round. Okay, we'll do this one. Round, minimum points, two rounds. I don't want to do two rounds. That will take too much too long. So we have 30 minutes. Does anybody have any questions about Hong Kong Mahjong? Four sets and a pair. It's great flexibility. It's the easiest version to learn. The sets can be three in a sequence or three of a kind, and you choose what they are. And you really need to base it on who you're playing with. If you play with people, who like to play big hands, then you can play big hands too. If you play with people who play chicken hands or all chow, one fawn hands, then you got to change accordingly. Otherwise, you'll never win. So it's very situational. 
Okay, we need one player and we'll get to go play. We're just waiting for one more player. Let's see if anybody will come in. This person at this Baku, they need to come join us. We need one more player. Hi, Josephine. Are you not used to Hong Kong Mahjong? It's actually pretty simple. You need four sets and a pair. The sets need to be three in a sequence. One, two, three, four, five, six, something like that. And then you could also do three of a kind. So four sets and a pair, either three in a sequence or three of a kind of anything. So here we go. I'll try to explain along the way. Okay, here we go. So we have, we are West and we have lots of dots and honors, even a pair of West. That's our seat wind. We can get score for that. If you get a Pung or three of a kind of, of your own seat wind, in this case, we're West, we get a score for that. We should play half flesh because we do have chows in dots. Let's discard the offsuit tiles, we, of which we have three. We have two flowers, a four and a two. We're in seat three. West is seat three, so we're not going to get score for those bonus tiles. Okay, we got a white dragon. We're going to keep that. We're going to get rid of these offsuit tiles. We're going to hold winds, dragons, and dots. That would be called a half flush. There's a dot. We'll keep it. So we need dots, as many as we can get, any chow, three of a kind, three or four of a kind, what have you, whatever we can make work with dots will be good. And then we need to pair up these honors. If you pair anything up, you can turn that into a pung. Okay, four, let's go ahead and pung. So there's a three of a kind and we're left with potential chows with the two, three, and the five, six, or the six, eight. We could also pung the west, which I hope happens because we can get a fawn for that. So we need dots and pair up these dragons maybe. There's a seven dot. So now we have a six, seven, eight, or a five, six, seven. We still need a pair. I'm still hoping to pung the West. Because that will give us score. So they're probably playing all pung, all three of a kind. That's a three fawn hand and you can mix suits and still get decent score. Now they have their own flower over here to my right, Graham, Amastori. Oh, that's not a keeper. We need to chow or pung that west, and then we need to pair up one of these dragons. Oh, we keep drawing bams. It'd be nice to draw a five dot or an eight dot because we do need a pair in here. Oh, there's a one dot. Let's discard the green dragon. So now we have a one, two, three, a five, six, seven. Okay, that was a good choice of getting rid of that because I never would have paired up because they had three of them. So we need to pung the west and we can be ready on an eight dot or a five dot. There's a pung. Get rid of the white. Now we have a five, six, seven, eight. So either the eight dot or the five dot will be mahjong. 
eight dot or five dot will give us mahjong. There's one eight dot out. There are two five dots. Oh, there are two eight dots out. So that's kind of good though, because if people see there are two out, they might be likely to throw it. Let's discard the nine dot. Oh shoot. No, that's not mahjong. We need a pair. We need a pair. We need an eight dot or a five dot. That scared me. I thought I threw away a mahjong, but that was just another chow. Right now we're on what's called a double weight. Okay, that is not mahjong. We need a five dot or an eight dot to win. We're going really late in the game. I'm hoping someone will throw the eight dot or five dot thinking that they're safe. Uh-oh, there was a hesitation there. Another hesitation. Long hesitation. We need a five dot or an eight dot. Oh, that was a good safe tile. Oh, shoot. Oh, darn. The five dot was over here. To my left, where was the other eight dot? Oh, in the flower wall. Sometimes your tiles are in the dead wall. It's called a dead wall. I don't really like that term, but basically those tiles, we never go into them unless you draw flowers or kongs. Okay, so zero all around, wall game. Here we go. We're starting over. We have one honor and a whole bunch of number tiles. We're going to try all chow. If we pair up, we can play all pung, but right now it's looking like all chow. All three in a sequence here. We do have chow potential all around except for the six crack. The six crack is the only isolated tile. We're not taking that. We're going to try all chow. All three in a sequence. We don't need that. We're going to try to have all number tiles because they're, they have greater flexibility. And if you do all chow, that's one fawn. Okay, one crack, that's isolated. The six crack is isolated. I think even if we start picking in a bunch of bams, we could maybe even push a full flush. Maybe I should have kept that west. So we need to potentially chow, I think, is probably the best. Mixed suit chow. There's a bam. We got a bam, including now we have two pair. But I think we're better off to use these as chow tiles. And we have enough to potentially get to a flush. Let's go ahead and start getting rid of the dots. So we have a two, three, three, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Lots of chow potential there in one suit. Three characters, four characters. This would be a nice big hand. Full flush, six fawn. We have no flowers. That's another fawn. Let's keep the south. Maybe we can get to a half flush with some honors. Single honors aren't going to help, though. We don't need the dots. We want bams now. I may, if, if pungs go, or if these th the three and the five go down, I may pung. There's one three bam and one five bam out right now. There's a green dragon. There are none out. That's a good tile. If we pair up, we could maybe pung, and that's a fawn. Okay, we're almost cleared to a half flush once we get rid of this two dot. 
We still need to chow, though. It's getting kind of late in the game at this point. Okay, there's an east. There are three out, though. That'll be a good safe discard. This player to my left has to be playing BAMs because they're not releasing them. So now we have a 7, 8, 9. Here's a bunch of pairs. We can just pung them. Any of those pairs can become a pung. So we're going to try to pung. But it looks like the player to my left is holding BAMs. Okay. We're not going to take that because it would leave an isolated tile. Why make make a chow to uh, break a chow to make a chow is what I've been told. Don't break a break a chow to make a chow, unless making that chow leaves you with tiles that you can work with elsewhere. In this case, it would have left an isolated nine, so I didn't want to break my seven eight nine to make a seven eight nine. It would leave an isolated nine. I hope that makes sense. <gasps> there are all those bams. Darn it. Okay, nice big hand, six fawn, half flesh. They have their own seat and a flower of their own. That was a nice hand. Okay, negative 32, we need a big hand. I would love to show you 13 orphans. It's really hard to get though. Ain't gonna happen here. We do have two pair at the moment. I'm thinking I'll chow again. All these number tiles, let's chow. Oh, pungs take precedence over chow. So I wanted it for a chow. The player across from me claimed it for a pung, so they get it. We're not gonna take that. Cause we're gonna try for, well, now we could have taken it because we now have paired up. We have three pair right now. Let's pung. So we're going to hold the West. Actually, there's one out already. Let's discard. That was, uh, no, we're, we are South seat. So that wouldn't have brought us any score anyway. No, we're going for pungs. Let's get rid of the nine. So now we have three pair that we can pung. We just need to set ourselves up with a good pair tile. Okay. We're going to pung. Okay. Now what's out? None of these are out. Let's get rid of the eight bam. Maybe the player across. That's kind of what I was afraid of. If they had bams out, those exposures, you can kind of try to figure out what they're playing. I thought maybe they were in all bams. So now we have our pairs. All we need to do at this point is pung. I kind of want to get rid of all bams because you never know. They could be doing all bams. There's Pung. Now we're waiting to win on a two bam or a three crack. That's called a double weight. We are south seat. That's not Mahjong. There it is. So we just won all Pung, all three of a kind. That's three Fawn. Put us at zero points. <laughs> So we're in second place right now. Okay, we're inching our way up. Here we go. I'd love to do a big hand here. Okay, BAMs. Look at all those BAMs. We are the dealer. Let's get rid of the eight. We have four discards. We do have pairs and chow potential. We're gonna push either half flush or full flush. We can pung, pung, chow, chow. Let's see, two, three, four, two, three, four, let's chow. Because now we're left with three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lots of flexibility in there for chows. We're going to chow. 
Let's chow with a three, four, five. Now we're left with a five, six, seven, eight. So we need to draw BAMs or a green dragon would be nice. We'll get a pung of green dragons, that would be a fun. There's a BAM. We still have to have a pair in here. Chow. Okay, we're not quite there yet. We have a potential pung and a potential chow. Eight bam. There are two eight bams out. I wish I had, let's see, there are two six bams out at the moment as well. We're going to pung. Now, anybody should be shaking in their boots because look at all these bams. If anybody discards a bam, that's going to be risky. I'm hoping to swap this out with a one bam or a nine bam, a one bam or a nine bam, because there are two eight bams out. Although anybody might think that the eight bam is safe because there are two out. Oh, that's what I wanted, because there's only one out now. One, one BAM is out. There's one green out, one red out. If I get an east or a south, I might switch, because there are none out. There's, okay, I'm going to throw the eight. There's only one, one BAM out, as opposed to two, eight BAMs. So now the likelihood of getting that one is better. Three Three bamboo. Ooh, oh, seven bam, Kong. Seven bamboo. Kong. East, there are none out. Nope, let's stick with the one. We need a one bam. It's not Mahjong. Oh, this would be a nice hand. Oh, shoot. Oh, that would have been a nice hand. Okay, eight points. Oh, good for you, Graham. I'm glad you got a win in there. Oh, that's a big one, too. Half flush, all pung, white dragons, flower. That's a big one. Okay, now we're in third place. Third place. We need a big hand. Ugh. Oh. We were really advertising that hand though. That's not good. You wanna to try to be concealed. Okay, now we are north. We're heavy on into BAMs. We need a big hand. We're gonna push a half flush. We are north seat. We have a three flower. That flower is not gonna bring us any score. We need a four flower. So we need BAMs and honors. Okay, let's get rid of the six crack. Six I don't want to. I don't want to pung that because we could instead of one pung, we can split it out and use it as two potential chows. Let's just keep the threes. I would like to chow these because we have three potential chows in there. All we need to do thereafter is, oh, well now, now we have two other pair here. We could maybe 
Switch to all pung now that we've paired up. One more pair and we could totally do all pung. There's a three bam though. Let's get rid of the one. one so now we have a two, three, four in bams, a four, five potential chow side weight, a seven, nine closed weight. Okay, two, three, four, three, four, five, we'll chow. So now we have a potential 2-4 chow, 5-7 chow, or 7-9 chow. We have three discards, though, and two single honors. We need to pair up. Those single honors are not going to help in our particular situation. You can use single honors in one hand called 13 orphans. And I would love to show it to you sometime. You have to really be set up for it in the beginning. I've heard that the good guideline is 10 tiles. 10 tiles towards 13 orphans and you can go for it. And I think the percentage of making it is like, I don't know, 15% or something like that. It's a really hard hand to get. It's basically one of each of the wins and dragons, one of each of the ones and nines, and then any tile paired. We need bams. Oh, okay, all pung, playing all pung there. It's another nice score and they have a white dragon pung which is a fawn. Okay, we got a west. We paired up our west. We're north seat, so that won't bring a score, but it will help us get to a half flush. Okay, we don't want that. We're trying for half flush. That would have brought our score down by three if you mix suits. Okay, we're gonna chow. We'll chow with a five, six, seven. Oh, somebody wanted the pung. That, that takes precedence, so we lost a tile. We got robbed. Okay, we got a south. There's none out, so we might find use for that. There are four seven bams out. So we won't get a five, six, seven, because there's only four of every tile. So we need an eight bam. We need a three bam. Pair up the two, maybe. It's kind of tightening up right now. Oh, all pung. That's going to be another good score. He's going to take this table, take it down. Look at that score. <laughs> Graham's kicking my booty. Okay, negative 80. Okay, we're in third place. It's better in fourth place. No offense to whoever it is over there. Okay, let's see. We have lots of honors here. Good night. Okay, we're going to try for half flush. We need to pair up all those honors. We need to go for something big. Okay, maybe we could do all honors. <laughs> oh my gosh, my mind. That's really craziness. That's not going to happen. Because we would have to discard all these BAMs. Okay, there's a north. We paired up a north. We're in north seat. That could bring a score. If you get a pung of your seat win, you get a fawn for that. So we have a three, four, five, and a potential chow with a five, six. We've got single honors we need to pair up. We do not need cracks. We want bams. Oh yeah, Pung. Okay. We need to pair up these honors and none are out right now. Once you pair up, you can potentially Pung. That's the goal in this particular case. There is a hand called seven unique pair though. You can play all pairs. They have to be unique though, no Kongs. A Kong is four of a kind. Ooh, we got a three bam. Got to have a pair. Now here, we could pung and pung. Pung the three, pung the five, and be left with a four six. That four six could be a potential chow. So if a three bam or a five, dot, a five bam goes down, I would claim it for a pung. So let's see what happens. Even if a two bam goes down, we could chow. Okay, let's chow. So we have a pair and a four, five. 
We could even pung that three, maybe. There are no east out and no dragons are out yet. Okay, there's a white. We got cracks over there. Looking pretty. Okay, we got all pung going on over there. All three of a kind, mixed suits, which is fine. That's a three fawn hand. Okay, we're looking for looking. It's looking like a one suit hand over there. Nine or one. Any crack is going to be a risky discard. We're going to keep the bam. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh. That was kind of scary. Okay, there are three eight bams out. This eight bam probably needs to go. Six dot. Six dot. Eight bam. Let's let's discard the six dot. Maybe we can chow something with that. Although there's only one more seven bam out. If we get a seven bam though, that could help us get a chow. Five dot should be good. It's the crack suit that I'm worried about because the player across from me has nine. Okay, all pun, all one suit, full flush. That's a big score. That's what I was afraid of. Seven fawn, that's big. Okay, so now we're in last place. That's it. <laughs> oh shoot okay well Graham took it for the night there okay I think that's going to do it for our live stream tonight sorry to cut it short but I have been working really hard on the American Mahjong lesson and I still have videos to make and we're traveling this week so I'm kind of under pressure here to get things done. So I just want to say thank you very much for coming to the live stream. I appreciate the support. I appreciate the camaraderie. I appreciate people wanting to learn a new style, learn new strategies. It really is a lot of fun. And it's such great exercise for your brain and even socially. So thank you very, very much for coming. And next week, there will not be a live stream playing Mahjong. I may live stream from Savannah just to say hi. I'm not sure yet, but uh, there will not be a Let's Play live stream on Sunday. And let's see here. I guess that's it. Thanks again, Graham. It was fun playing with you. Thanks so much. Again, if you want to learn how to play, watch my videos on YouTube. There's a whole bunch of videos about Hong Kong Mahjong there. If you want to come and try Mahjong at Mahjong time, send me an email. My email is below the video description. I'll send you a 30-day VIP code so you, you can come and try it out. You're welcome, Josephine. Everybody, Mary, thanks for coming. David, it was great having you here. I really, really appreciate it. Carol, thank you for coming by again. Please tell your friends about the channel, and let's have some more fun together playing Mahjong. If you like this live stream, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. After you do, there'll be a little gray bell showing up next to the subscribe button. Click that button so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next live stream, may all your picks be keepers.